Greeting and welcome everyone to episode 76 of our Let's Play series, the Direwolf 20 pack. In today's episode, we're going to be moving the black hole tank that we have our milk in and then pumping it through a crafter so that everything can be put into our system. And so, let's just jump right into it. So here we go. Taking the liberty of already clearing my inventory to have it ready to go. Oh, there we got to turn on F1. So let's break our stuff here. Let's pick it all up here. Because we're going to need to move it to another location. Set it all aside while we work on this here. Throw that piece of trim in there. So now I need to find a place to put the milk. Hmm. I'm never good at finding new places to put things, you know, because I organize everything in a certain way every time. But this one doesn't necessarily have to be visible. So I need a place where it can be invisible. Which is fine because it's pretty much going to be empty anyway. So let's dig this out here. Let's make a little bit of a room here. We're going to need access to a few things. We need access to power, which we got from underneath there. We're going to need access to the, the system here. For the refined storage. Okay, so we got that here. So let's do this here. Let's put down our black hole tank, which isn't going to be here for long. We forgot we need to go get a crafter. Let's grab one of those. Well, we're going to have to make one of those. Let's start by making two of those and having those ready to go. Let's see, red stone torches. We got 14 of those. We're going to need a fluid transposer. Like so. We'll wait on that. Type crafter over here. We'll get everything set up in no time. Looks like we'll have to make a machine casing. Or a machine frame here, real quick. Yep, more than enough stuff for that. There we go. Got our fluid transposer. We're going to need some redstone energy flux ducts. That's going to be necessary for this. Let's see, we're going to need a regular crafter. I know we have that. There we go. We're going to need the recipe, which we have right there. It looks like we have everything else I think we're going to need. Okay, so... Part of the setup is going to be very interesting. We're going to take our cables here and we need to... We need to put our cows back on this thing. Let's take our cows here. We have our fluid ducts there with our servos. So we'll go like this here. We'll put them back here. Our two servos and our two cows. There we go. Okay, so that should be, yep, we're accumulating milk again. And then what we're gonna wanna do is take the fluid transposer here and we're pretty much going to want to auto input like so. But we're still not getting the fluid. Hmm. It's not automatically pulling the fluid like I thought it would. Hmm. That's no worries. Okay. 
So what I'll do here is take you down for a second, move you over one. We're gonna put the crafter behind you. So like so, throw in our pattern. We're gonna need a servo. Like so, we'll start with a servo here. Pop this in place. And we will wrench these apart for the moment. Add that there. And bam, okay. So now we have our liquid entering here. We'll give it power from below. We're also gonna need, we're also gonna need an export bus here and a exchange there. So let's let's grab those. There's our external storage, which we need. And there's our exporter, which we'll need. What do we need the exporter for? We need an import. Let me type uh, import in. Okay, so let's see. The importer needs to go here. And the external storage should go here. And then let's connect them all together. Gonna remove our torch. We'll have to add another one here. Well, it can't be there. How about there? Okay, so now we got it connected to the system. So our system can see our milk. Can't see it with this one. But the system can see our milk. Our system can see. That's not the right pattern. We can go get the right pattern. Go over here and we'll make the right pattern. It'll be a process this time for milk. Or, wrong one, over here. Well, we can do it just as easy. So let's go R, R, fluid transposer. There we go. So we're telling it to drop a bucket and fill it up. Now, the key to all this. The key to all this is to not make a billion buckets. But I'm not sure how successful we're going to be with that. So now we need to add our power to this portion of the system. So we write in the cables. There we go. Now our fluid transposer has some power. So let's see here. We have plenty of milk. We need to set our output to up above. There we go. And now we need to set up the crafter, which is what the exporter is for. Well, we're doing it in the wrong place again. There we go. Okay, so grab the exporter. Okay, so we're going to be going like so. We're going to export into you. Like so. And then we're going to import, but I'm not sure how to not make 50 million buckets, so this is going to be interesting. Wrench. Okay. So what we want to export is buckets of milk.
like so. We pretty much only want to import buckets. Like so. Okay, so now we need to connect that one to the system. And then we need to supply it with power. Okay, use our redstone cable here. Okay, now it's connected to the system. We need to teach it a recipe now. An empty bucket. We'll make four fresh buckets. We need a full bucket. Hit apply. Okay. So. Okay, so we need to import everything. Like so. Okay. Okay, so it's gonna import. So let's say we go on the system here and I go to milk. It'll ask me to craft. Let's say I craft 30 of them. It is going to craft 30 buckets. Doggone it. Yep. Doggone it. Oh well. Now this should export the milk right away. Why am I not seeing? Hmm. Oh, because we need to set up the back to be blue as well. Like so. There we go. Now let's check and see if it's being put into our crafting station over here. Or not our crafting station. It's being pushed to our... It is! Our drawer. Very nice. So it's working. We don't need the exporter here then. That was kind of a waste. But now... It's in place in our system. But I need to pump it from there into the refrigerator. But I'm not sure that's where I want to put the refrigerator. I need a place where I can dig out the wall behind it. Like so. So, let's do this a little bit tricky here. I'm going to place this down as a placeholder here for a moment. We're going to get some impulse ducks and a servo. Let's see, I got a little idea here. Got to go the right direction for it though. Oh, it didn't give me an interface. Ah, oh, but I can still make one there. Okay, that's good enough. That's what I needed to do anyway. The exporter was supposed to fake an inventory for me, but oh well. Oh, wait, those are just filters, they're not even... That would explain a lot. Okay, so... Let's grab... A basic filter. And... A bucket. White list that. Okay, so now let's move our refrigerator. And typically, I don't think you move a refrigerator with a pickaxe, but you know, I'm learning this as a go as well, you know? Okay, so our refrigerator got moved to that side. 
to support this setup a little bit better. And it should, in theory, whitelist milk and pump it in there. But for some reason, it is not putting the milk in the fridge. That is odd. What am I doing wrong here? Whitelist filter. It sees it as an inventory. Maybe it doesn't see the fridge as an inventory. That would be strange. So let's figure this out. Let's start by getting another item duct. If I spelled it right. Okay. Okay, so it sees it as a valid inventory for items. It is pumping a ton of stuff in there. We're gonna take you here for starters. And I would like to whitelist fresh milk. It'll move everything but the fresh milk in there. That's weird. Okay, so let's keep pulling out this stuff here. Oh, I know. I figured out why. So we do need the servo. So let's grab it. And some piping. Because we have to put the servo on this side. temporarily here so plop that down there remove that grab this enable it and there we go that is now done for the moment anyway we need to find some way to regulate or just input craft for that the bucket. There's got to be a way. And we'll figure it out. Okay, so we got milk now. So if I order more milk, cows produce milk. Magic milk. Go. They'll show up here slowly and then they'll immediately be placed in here. Yep. So it gains us milk that way. And then if you'll notice, mm -hmm. going to our crafting or cooking table we have milk to be able to make heavy cream and yogurt so it's all working out our cows are getting what they need and our system is continuing to grow so let's put back our blocks here so this will look somewhat decent there we go our refrigerator has been moved to the other side because I can't put a block here because the panels don't look right with color with the lighting here but we have our setup for fresh milk and there we go all clean neat and tidy and even if we want to see the fluids we can see the fluids got to find the fluid monitor there it is it's not showing the fluid for some reason is there no fluid did I use it all already Oops, wrong place. Let's go here. So, external storage, that's what all these have on them. Yep. It's not registering. Interesting. Okay, so we'll put it here. And then we'll swap. Oh, whoops. That's why I don't like having things in my hands all the time. No, it shows that that's there. 
It's not showing. Oh, switch it to fluid. Switching it to fluid makes a big difference. Okay, so now that it says it's fluid. Okay, now it's registering 1 million fluid. Okay, so it didn't matter if I moved it. I need to just set it to fluid. Okay, no big deal. Let's go check our system, and we'll be done for the day. There we are. 1k of milk. Perfect. So, we now have milk from our cows being produced into our system through our cow in a jar. And our kitchen is better off for it. We're one step closer to being able to make our biscuits and gravy, which we are currently out of in our inventory, from scratch here in our kitchen from the ingredients that we have on our wall that stores in our cabinets. So, thank you guys again for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.